Hey guys, even here in Japan Pro is over and the winner is actually Juan Morel. No, it wasn't Cedric, I didn't really expect this, I thought Cedric would win it. Even though Cedric was not as conditioned as Juan, I think he was like <laughs> complete, you know, compared to him because Juan has no legs, no quads whatsoever. It's really surprising for me how does he even manage to win these kind of shows against guys like this. I understand him beating Regan because he is way thicker and more conditioned than him, but when it comes to Cedric, I would just never think that Juan would beat him, no matter how much is he more conditioned. I wasn't there, yeah, you can't really judge a show by a video, especially if it is this poor quality, but we all know that Juan has horrible legs, basically no quads. But this pose right here looks amazing on Juan, looks really good. It also looks very good on Cedric, but yeah, Juan is more conditioned, he is in really good shape, that's for sure. But Cedric is not that bad, and he is way more complete because of the legs. What this basically means is that the fact that Juan has no quads is not really that big of a problem. If you have overall more complete physique, more complete presentation, if you are more complete bodybuilder in terms of having the density and the conditioning and the symmetry proportions and everything, uh, just not having one body part isn't that big of a deal. It wasn't for Dorian and uh, today it's not for Juan obviously. From the sides and from the back, he looked really good, but from the front, those quads were really all I have been looking at. I can't just uh, draw my eyes away from them because they are looking really bad, really small. Two days ago, I made a video about Japan Pro, and my prediction, I said if Cedric shows up, he will win the show. If not, Juan is gonna win it, depending on how uh, conditioned he is. Juan definitely brought an amazing shape. He looked really good here, but guys, Cedric already won two pro shows. He qualified for the Mr. Olympia when he won the first one. This would be his third pro victory. And that means that uh, Juan Morel maybe wouldn't even qualify for the Mr. Olympia. And Cedric would win three pro shows. What if the judges just gave it to Juan Morel? Because it was close. It was definitely close. Juan was more conditioned, but he was not more complete. I mean, just take a look at their legs. Should this be penalized? I think it should. I'm sure you agree with me, but uh, apparently judges gave it to Juan Morel. I think the reason is because they want to see him at the Mr. Olympia and they are just tired of giving the victories to Cedric and Cedric came a little bit off, so it was fair to give it to Juan. Again, Juan had better conditioning, he was in better shape overall, but he didn't have quads. So be my guest, you tell me who actually deserved this victory. On the right there, 6th place was uh, An Nguyen, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Juan Morel was first, of course, Cedric second, and uh, Regan Grimes third. Regan is making his place in bodybuilding today. And on the left here you can see Harry Montgomery, who actually took 4th place, which is a pretty good result, considering that he just came back to the Open from 212. Did he look his best? Absolutely not. His conditioning wasn't very good. There are some muscular weaknesses, such as chest, that is pretty obvious. From the sides you cannot really notice much, but uh, from the front and from the back you can see a lot of weaknesses. So, not a very good showing from Cody Montgomery. I think he was much better in 2016, when he had his pro debut at the Arnold Classic, when he was only 21. But, you know, let's give this guy a break. He became a father at a very early age. He was 21 or 22 when he became a father, so that's, that's a kid, having a kid, literally. So he took some time off of not only competing, but uh, of uh, probably doing drugs. He was training and eating, maybe he was on TRT or something, but he just uh, maintained what he had to a certain point. He did not progress, he actually digressed. He was an amazing junior competitor because he was very much genetically gifted with adding muscle fast, but uh, how well will he do as a senior, I don't know. But I think because of his height and his structure, his frame, he is well suited for 2 to 12, not the Open. A day before Japan Pro took place, and Japan Pro was just finals, there was no prejudging, it was all done in uh, one show. But uh, actually, in the Niagara Falls, we had finals a day before Japan Pro, and the winner of 2 to 12, which was the only bodybuilding category, was actually Guy Cisternino. I did not see this coming, to be honest. I predicted uh, him taking second place. But apparently he won and he deservedly won. You can see here that he looked better, he looked sharper, fuller and everything. I don't know what he did in that one day or half a day, however it was, but he came much fuller and sharper and he absolutely deserved this victory. There was no robbery, I don't think so. I think it was a clear win for him, but in the pre-judging he was not winning. I don't think so. I think he was way behind. So we had only 212 as far as bodybuilding, but he also had the classic physique and bikini. At the Japan Pro we had open 
Man's physique and bikini. I don't know why these shows don't have all the categories, probably there is no big interest for them. Anyways, Rough Diesel or Terence Ruffin won the classic physique division at the Niagara Falls. Absolutely deserved it, it was obvious win. This guy's nickname should be Serge Nubre 2.0, he absolutely resembles him. I do think he has a big potential to become one of the top Mr. Olympia classic physique competitors. He needs to fix a couple of things, but nothing major really. He just needs to keep this pace and with John Meadows in his corner, I'm sure he will achieve great results in the future. Also, at the Niagara Falls, fourth place in Classic Physique was Greg Doucette. I'm sure most of you know him from his YouTube channel. He took fourth place, I think he looked good, pretty good. I don't think he's a potential to be the Mr. Olympia to win a pro show, but uh, yeah, for fourth place at this kind of show, not bad, not bad at all. Also, while I was making this video, I noticed this post from Chris Asito. And this is somebody texting Cody Montgomery, uh, trying to actually get him to be his client. He told him he sees a lot of inconsistent coaching. And, you know, his coach is Chris Asito, Cody's coach is Chris Asito. And uh, this guy right here who sent him this, we don't know who it is. He doesn't say, but uh, in the comments, everybody's saying it's George Farah. So what do you guys think about this as well? I don't really know much about George Farah as a person, but apparently he's trying to steal uh, Chris's client. Cody Montgomery. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Tell me what do you think. Do you think uh, Juan deserved this victory over Cedric? What do you think about Cody in the open? What do you think about Rob Diesel winning this show or Grab the Set taking fourth place? Whatever is in your mind, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos. All the best, guys, and bye bye.